Hello again, YouTube. The Bassman here. Thanks for joining me. Um, managed to get out of the house. Quite a ways away, actually. Um, I went to the park. And now I'm at the park and I'm spending the day at the park. Actually, I'm just kidding. I am at Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Isn't that awesome? Um, drove in last night left from work, drove in all night, got here, uh, took a couple of pictures by moonlight. Moon was really low. It was like four o'clock in the morning. Um, pictures didn't turn out that great because the moon was so low in the sky, but i um, going to do it again tonight. Uh, I got up this morning early and went over to uh, this area here, which is Prairie Dog Town or Prairie Dog Village or some crap um, some place people go to look at prairie dogs who I guess I've never seen them um, seen plenty <laughs> anyway uh, uh, beautiful pictures this morning with the Sun <clears throat> just coming up east just coming up um, lit the tower up beautiful orange uh, hopefully tonight Sun goes down um, the sky was pretty orange last night even though there wasn't any clouds so I'm hoping that uh, we get some nice orange sky um, I'm actually gonna be uh, I'm gonna be around the west kind of the western side of the tower there's a place up there it's a lookout um, between here and the uh, visitor center I'm gonna be set up there um, well, probably around 8 o'clock or so be ready to snap some pictures and just kind of watch it as the Sun goes down Anyway, I'm just killing time now. Had my breakfast a bit earlier. A little bit of B-roll from that. Um, took some beautiful pictures this morning of this stream that's just outside of the campground, uh, just behind me here. Uh, steam mist coming off of it. Really pretty. Um, and I might, uh, tomorrow morning, I might actually find another spot. You can see these red mountains that are behind me here. The uh, creek goes right by there and I'm hoping that maybe in the morning I can get set up there as the Sun comes up and get some nice steamy pictures with that red uh, rock in the background anyway um, so sit back and enjoy and uh, wish me luck thanks Hello YouTube, welcome back. I am at Joiner's Ridge. This is where I plan to do my shooting tonight um, and this evening, sunset. Um, at least until the moon comes up, uh, pretty good. Very interesting um, application that I'm using, the photo pills application to show me where the moon is. I'm gonna be at a particular time at a particular place um, running that application uh, earlier today it looked like I was going to be able to um, maybe get a picture of uh, Devil's Tower with the moon um, just to the left of it so my application shows that the moon at 10 o'clock is going to be right about here somewhere so looking forward to that what do you think of this location? This is just beautiful, beautiful. Um, I came up here a little bit early because I thought that this parking lot here would be full um, and that I'd be fighting for space. But uh, as it turns out, it's just you and me up here. So that's fantastic. Um, 
I can set up anywhere I want to and uh, everybody else can suck it. Um, anyway, so I got some time to kill, um, which I was just doing that anyway. Either do it here or do it to down at the camp. So um, I'm going to get set up, get my tripod out, just kind of get some composition set up and then um, break out the chair, break out some cookies, chips, uh, watch the wildlife, I guess. Um, anyway, so uh, actually I'll probably set up my other GoPro and um, maybe do a little bit of a time lapse. Um, maybe I can keep the battery going long enough to uh, get the sun kind of going down. Anyway, so stick around. Things should get interesting. Well, folks, we're getting close. The uh, sun has just gone down. And it's um, 25 after 7. Uh, PhotoPills says that uh, sunset is around 728, but... I mean, I guess that is true in the hills, but I don't think we're gonna hit uh, golden, golden kind of hour until maybe quarter two. I'm figuring we got about 20 more minutes or so to go. Um, I did dig out my graduated filter just in case I needed it. Um, I can always pull it off if I decide that it's not necessary, but it's better to have it out than rushing around at the last minute trying to find it, clean it, putting it on, and then uh, adding the adapter to my lens too. So anyway, looking looking pretty good. Um, I just heard a, an elk here off in this forest to my north. Didn't sound too far away either. Maybe it'll show up and uh, enjoy the show with me. Anyway, stay tuned. So I thought I'd take a minute and show you this um, Photo Pills app that I'm using. Um, it's very, very cool. Um, I've currently got it set up in augmented reality mode. I'm hoping that you can see this. But it shows where the sun is and it looks pretty dang accurate if you can see that it's hard for me to see on this small GoPro screen but here is the tower and the moon right there oh way too much glare maybe that'll help anyway so you can see the moon in the image, and it should about eight o'clock. Boy, I hope I'm not too far over. It looks like it might. It could come up there, or it could come up behind the tower. But I guess it kind of depends on how accurate my compass is in my phone. But if I have to, I will head up that hill right there and maybe that'll get me far enough up and over to get into that spot right there where the moon's gonna come out anyway guess we'll see um it is 20 to 8 and um, things are starting to get a little colorful but unfortunately not a cloud in the sky so i guess we'll see all right, well, I thought I'd give you one more update. Um, pretty cool, as you can see. So the moon's been coming up at an, at an arch, and it's gonna meet probably near the top of the tower, I would imagine. Um, I'm doing some bracketed shots, exposing for the moon, which is always tricky, and I'm not really that good at it. So I'm hoping that I'm doing okay. Exposed for the moon. four seconds now, five seconds, um, and then expose for the hill. <clears throat> and then I'm taking one last shot 
um, something I learned from Thomas Heaton. Cover the lens, take another shot. So when you're in post-processing, you'll see, you know, black frames between your bracketed shots. So. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this for a little bit longer and um, then I'm gonna head down and get around to the other side of it uh, and try to get some stuff lit up by the moon. Anyway, ta-ta for now. Welcome back, YouTube. Um, probably can't see a whole lot right now. I am back at Joiner's Ridge, and I've got my camera set up. I'm gonna point it out there. I doubt you can see it, but maybe if I leave it there long enough, you'll see why I came back. Oh yeah. Um, kind of an unexpected uh, thunderstorm came about 1 a.m. So I uh, kind of wrote it out a little bit and then decided um, it was worth coming back. So. Good afternoon, YouTube. So uh, I figured I'd fill in some of the gaps from my uh, trip out to the Devil's Tower. Had uh, some issues with the camera. Well, they were my issues. Um, when, uh, when I woke up in the middle of the night and it was raining and there was thunder and lightning, um, I thought a great opportunity to get out, go get some pictures of uh, Devil's Tower with some lightning. So I um, packed up, hauled up to uh, Joiner's Ridge again, um, got everything out, got my tripod set up, uh, camera out. It started to rain. Uh, there was some lightning real close. Uh, a little scary, a little sketchy, but uh, so I got the camera set up, put a towel on it, keep it dry. Um, had to grab my uh, uh, my remote shutter release, which uh, has a bulb mode so that I could just continue taking shots. So I got it all set up, started the camera, fired off shots, um, went back to the car, sat in the car while it drizzled a little bit, some awesome, awesome lightning. Um, out and around the tower and behind me and uh, it's kind of all over I um, was pretty excited about it after about I don't, probably 15 minutes or so um, I realized that I hadn't actually set the focus on the camera and uh, in a moment of panic so I get up I get out and um, look at the camera and sure enough it's set way off uh, from infinity which is where I wanted it um, Missed a really beautiful lightning shot. I'll, I'll show it to you now. Um, it's blurry, uh, unusable, but you can see the mistake, uh, what it cost me. So the image was really, would have been, you know, probably image of a lifetime for me at uh, Devil's Tower. Um, so a word of advice, you know, slow things down when you're going out. Um, take your time, be methodical, uh, get into a rhythm maybe. You know, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing, um, so that uh, you don't um, make that mistake. So, unfortunately, I, I did catch the mistake. Um, I refocused the camera, got it set up, got it firing off again. Got some very interesting shots, um, but none of them as awesome as the one that, uh, that I just showed you. Um, I did get this one, so I'll show it to you now, here somewhere. 
Um, really cool except for it's lightning on one side of it and then way way off the the side of the frame um, another good bolt um, pretty uh, I like it but definitely not the the shot I could have had um, I did stick around uh, a lot of mist kind of came in um, shrouded the bottom of the of the tower um, and at one point actually came and completely blocked it out um, I'll put together a little bit of a uh, kind of a time-lapse of that that you can see um, Probably now while I'm talking I'll have it running um, So you can see it, it It paid for me to go up there, but I kick myself for not slowing down taking the time to get everything set up um, The other thing is is uh, when I was all done and I packed up um, I'd done kind of a summary video in the car um, turned on the dome light kind of the map light in the car um, and didn't check the video. I sat and did my kind of a wrap-up thing and um, you know summarized kind of the the storm in the evening um, and didn't really think that much about it until today when I started to uh, put this video together um, and I looked at that footage and it's really unusable. <laughs> um, it's basically a silhouette of me uh, super grainy um, the camera just didn't have the, uh, you know, enough light to, to function. And I've done that before, but um, I usually have a light that I set up on the dash behind the camera um, when I'm doing uh, that kind of video at night in the car. Didn't do it. Thought it was good. Should have checked it. Didn't check it. Um, anyway, so a couple things that really bugged me about the trip. I loved the trip. I had a great time. It was awesome. Um, and I'm glad the storm came in. Um, I wish I'd, you know, done a little bit of... Uh, uh, slowing down and making sure things were good. Missed a great shot, but I did get some good stuff. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.